everyone, we're going to solve a triangle ABC with sides lowercase ABC and opposite angles uppercase ABC respectively. We have uh, two angles given, angle B is 60 degrees and C is 45 degrees. We have one side is 3 plus square root of 3, so we have to find angle A and uh, sides B and C. So uh, let's write what we have. We have angle B, that's 60 degrees. Angle C is 45 degrees. All right, and uh, that means A, we can do that one really quick. That one's going to be 180 degrees minus 60 degrees plus 45 degrees. So this one's simple enough. You could probably do it in your head. This one is going to be 75 degrees. So now we're just left with getting the other two sides, uh, B and C. All right, let's use the law of sines. Uh, here we need uh, A and B here. I'm going to flip it around since that's what we're looking for and write it as B, divide it by, and we have sine of A, so that's going to be our B, so B is 60 degrees, equals C divided by sine of 45 degrees. All right. Now I'm going to be a little messy here. Sine of 60 degrees is uh, square root of 3 divided by 2. Sine of 45 degrees is square root of 2 divided by 2. So basically I can just flip this up here. And this is going to end up being 2B divided by square root of 3 equals 2C divided by square root of 2. That's going to give us square root of 2B equals square root of 3c, like that. Uh, the 2's would cancel out when you uh, cross multiply. Alright, now we're going to use the law of cosines that have been derived from the law of sines, because it's a lot easier. Um, since we have a, we're going to look at this. Alright, this is a lot easier than using the normal uh, law of cosines. So this one's been derived from the law of sines. I did a video on uh, how to do that as well if you're interested. Okay, so if you use this law of cosines, our A is 3 plus, uh, 3 plus square root of 3 equals, then we have B times cosine of 45 degrees plus C times cosine of 60 degrees. All right, so basically um, we're going to get uh, for cosine of 45 degrees, that's going to be square root of 2b divided by 2 plus and a s cosine of 60 degrees is 1 half. So that's c divided by 2. All right, um, what we have is we already know that um, 2, square root of 2b equals square root of 3 times c. So I can rewrite this as substitute this one. So we're going to get square root of 3c divided by 2 plus c divided by 2. All right, and I can simplify this. The com denominator is 2 and factor out a c. That gives me square root of 3 plus 1 times c. All right. And as you recall, this equals, we forget this, equals 3 plus square root of 3. So that's what we have so far, and I'm going to move on to another slide and copy it down. So basically we have 3 plus square root of 3 equals square root of 3 plus 1 times C all divided by 2. So solving for C... You're going to get C equals, and you're going to multiply these two, so that's going to be 2 times 3 plus um, square root of 3. And then divide by this, so you uh, put that in the denominator, you get square root of 3 plus 1. Now, what I can do to simplify this is I can factor out a square root of 3. And if I do that, if I factor out a square root of 3, this quantity here is going to be square root of 3 plus 1. 
and then we have square root of 3 plus 1. You might want to double check me, but um, when you multiply these two, you're just going to get 3. When you multiply these, you get plus square root of 3. So they're equivalent. And the reason we want to do that is because these will cancel. So basically our C is 2 times square root of 3. Now, as you recall, we had, let me write it again, we had square root of 2B equals square root of 3C when we did the loft signs. So to find B, what I'm going to do is solve for B here. That's going to be square root of 3 divided by 2 times C. Right, so what I'm going to do is write B equals um, square root, I'll just write it this way, square root of 3 divided by square root of 2 times C. Well, this is your C, so this is going to be 2 times square root of 3 divided by 1. All right, um, and if I write this out, it's going to get a little confusing here, but it's going to be 2 times 3 divided by square root of 2. Therefore, if I uh, rationalize the denominator, that's going to be, you multiply the numerator and the denominator by square root of 2. So that's going to be 2 square root of 2 um, times this 3. And the denominator is just going to be 2. So what happens is the 2's cancel. So basically our b equals um, 3 times square root of 2. So what our missing information was is a equals 75 degrees, b equals 3 times square root of 2, and c equals 2 times square root of 3. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.